discovering the wonders of our state's natural resources and exploring the thrill of outdoor adventure. Mississippi Outdoors is a co-production of the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks and Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Welcome to Mississippi Outdoors. I'm Amanda Mills. And I'm Randy Mills. Thanks for joining us. In our first story, we go on a youth bow hunt for white-tailed deer in Warren County. Then we go speckled trout fishing in the Gulf of Mexico with Todd Shayu. Let's go. what better place, you know, we got the best guides in the business uh, here at Terra. Uh, what better place to do a, a youth camp where we condense the archery portion of our camps into uh, uh, a week and then let those same kids come back in the fall and actually have a, an archery hunt it would, would be great. Someone's going to kill something this afternoon. I believe so. First three deer came out, one was a doe and the other two were fawns. And the reason we didn't shoot the doe is because it had fawns that had spots. Those three came out, there was a doe and two fawns, then put the fawns that had spots. So hopefully another one will come out, we'll see. Before we made a shot, I was thinking about don't miss. Stop. 
wait a little while. He had about 39 yards. We shot him. We didn't know how good the penetration was. But he went down. Very nice here. Congratulations. Fine. Fine, dude. Doe came out from behind us, and we sat and watched her for about five minutes. And she got a little spooky and looked up at us and asked like she was going to run off, but just hung around for a minute. To the bone, something a little bent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good shot. There she is. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good job. Nice one. Pull it away. Yep. Beautiful. First deal with the bow, huh? First deal with the bow. Nothing like it. I bet you don't even pick a rifle up anymore, do you? I don't know. <laughs> We'll see. Good job. Good job. Nice side, Dave. Congratulations. Perfect. What do you think about that? Oh, someone in that close. Someone <laughs> in that close. Did you know that the money spent on your hunting and fishing license is an investment? The Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks uses money from license sales to enhance hunting and fishing. Like providing public hunting opportunities for wildlife management areas. Advise private landowners on deer and habitat management. Providing public fishing opportunities on state lakes. And operating fish hatcheries for stocking public lakes and streams. So make an investment in the great outdoors. Buy your Mississippi hunting and fishing license today. Folks, we're here at Boat Ashes Marina. It's awful early. Uh, it's about 4.30 this morning. We're, we're getting an early start. We're going to be doing some inshore fishing on our natural reef, uh, artificial reef program they put out here. Um, we've got Dr. Matt Murphy, my, one of my good fishing buddies, Mark Perry. Uh, Mark's going to be our captain today. I'm Mac the guide. <laughs> <laughs> Mac had uh, caught some really nice fish the other day, so we figured we'd go back and we'd share it with y'all. Mac, what are we going to use for bait today? Uh, we got uh, about 150 live spunky monkeys, which is the croaker. Trout love them. Going to the past Marion Light. Used to be an old lighthouse out there. Got the old ships in. Well, fellas, wow. let's do it. Let's go catch some trout. Do you know if anybody catches the big one, it's going to be me? Oh, no, nah, I don't believe so. Rusty Tally. The old famous secret weapon Tally here, Rusty. the old slip cord. <laughs> Tally. <laughs> now, this is what separates the men from the boys right here. The little boys strike. Got to have a feeling. This is a good fish, too. Come back, he's coming around your side.
First try of the day, not a bad one. It takes him all day long, bread and butter. Ooh, log, son. All right, you ready? Wait, I gotta see him first here. He's, not, he's under the boat, he's under the boat. Pull him out. It's about a four pound fish if you don't lose him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at here. Look at here. About a two and a half, three pounder. Mm-hmm. Got the net? I'm ready for it. Yeah, I can't figure that clicker out here. Oh, yeah. Good fish, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're trying to get the net on us. Good one, Matt. Thank you. Thank you. Chunky speckled trout. That's a good fish. I mean, they're long, son. What side are you coming to? Yeah, I'm coming on your side. You're a good net man there, Murph. There's only one thing I'm missing, Rusty. Good buddy Jim Walker. Jim said he couldn't come down today. He was coming down tomorrow. That hurts, don't it? That hurts. That's a good one. I love him swallow. That's a little baby. You know, when we're calling a 16 inch trout a baby, that's <laughs> that's a good thing. I had a fish on. I thought I felt him bump it. <laughs> Ain't that big though. He's a throwback. That's why I didn't feel him more than that. Oh, this ain't no throwback. Oh, yeah. Oh. You're getting in that pump. Yeah, I got it. Watch it. Yeah. Hung up with you or something? He's getting whipped. <laughs> he's in my hung up, he said. Martin needs a net, man. That little bitty old fish. <laughs> oh, that's a good one, boys. I have to get the net for you. I ain't that good, but he took this. He had a, he had a good run. Net line, that'd be good. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We getting a lot of getting is good. They ain't all that big. Man, I'm a certified nut man. They work at me. That's what I guess for being in the middle, I guess. Some have to get on either side. I'll take your drag a little bit. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Net boy. Come on, net boy. <laughs> That's you, net boy. Mark's coming. Mark's coming. Oh, you do me like that? That's a nice fish. Chunky one. I don't know if you're gonna let him whip you or not. Going in the box. See, these guys are catching over there, so they're on that side of the reef. They ain't nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mark, you got the nets in these fish. I can hear him now. He's gonna be saying, all you did was net my fish for me all day. If I can get a little help. Yeah. Well, you only need 
seven more and you're done. <laughs> I'll catch yours too, don't I? <laughs> I'm keeping count on it. Today we're using live croakers. Uh, this is about the smallest you want to use. You can actually go up to about a, about a six inch croaker. Um, using them today, I'm just going to hook him with a circle hook. Some people go through the lips. I like to put him right here, that way he's swimming up. Um, all the bait shops pretty much on our end are closed. Everybody's working for BP. So we had to actually go out, we took some little eight foot trawl, and we would make some little short drags. And we, within an hour and a half, we caught all the croakers we needed for today. Pretty fish, pretty fish. Ooh, I think it's a log of the day here, boys. It's close to it. Folks, we had a great day today. We've caught 32 trout. Oh, nice quality trout. Thank you guys for taking us along today, Dr. Murphy. No problem. Mark, we uh we'd like to do this again. So it looks like plan. Get up a little bit earlier. Gotta get up early. For over 70 years, Mississippi Outdoors magazine has served the readers of the Magnolia State. In it contains several interesting features such as wildlife photography, the lunar table, and even a kid's page. Subscriptions to the magazine are very inexpensive, and when you subscribe, you will receive six bi-monthly issues containing articles on hunting and fishing in the state, public lakes, state parks, and even our wildlife management areas. For more information, call our toll-free number at 1-888-874-5785. In our next story, Randy takes a crack at playing Crocodile Dundee. Amanda, it's all in a day's work as I go on a private lands alligator hunt in Rankin County. Hey folks, we're in Rankin County along the Lower Pearl River and we have been invited to go on a private land gator hunt today by Joey Baroni. Joey, thank you for having Mississippi Outdoors. No problem, glad to have you. Joey, what are the requirements? Tell us, what is the requirements to be able to get a private land gator permit? Well, you have to have a minimum of 20 acres of water on your property and uh, you have to go through the proper steps and training to be prepared for this event. And I'm sure all that is, you go through it with our alligator coordinator, Ricky Flint, and he kind of leads the way. Correct, correct. Thank, thanks to Ricky Flint, that we have a good program too. Folks, we've got an exciting, exciting show. Thank you for joining us. Right now, we're trying to look and see if we can find one laid up, uh, kind of chilling on the, on the bank or a log, trying to warm up just a little. Got a six foot gator here, and we've got a 12 foot gator out in front of us. I see. That gator just went under. Oh, that gets your heart going. This gator right here, his head <laughs> looks to be as wide as the front of this boat. I mean, that is a man there. This is good. The later it gets, the more active it'll be. Big one down. This one under. That's him. That was one that rolled long ago. Man, that is a big gator. That gator weighs several hundred pounds right there. All right, gator's on. Oh, big gator. Losing? Uh, oh, he's running towards us. Okay. Yeah, hang on. Hang on, Joe. Let me, let me try and tie him up. Coming right over. Coming over. Got a gun here on. He's a big one. Don't run with us. Let him run. Big gator. All right. Try and keep my rod tip up. Folks, you just wouldn't believe the strength of these animals. But right now, we've got about a 400 pound alligator on. We're gonna try and get a second hook in him. We're hoping he'll get a little tired out, but he's just pulling this boat. We're not trolling. 
This alligator is actually pulling this boat. He, he's gonna come up any minute and get a breath of air in there, man. This is a large, large gator. Just lay it down the side and I'm gonna give it to you. When he comes up, this might be our only chance. Like we got a good hook set on him. Looking at that tackle box. And it's got the off. Let him put tape in there. Here, I can just do it. If he takes line, let him take it. You can tell how excited we both are. This is a uh, this is an experience that is just beyond. This will wear you out. Oh yeah. It takes every muscle you've got to stay on this gator. If you try and just fight him, oh, yeah. this big gator. Golly folks, you got him right in the tail. It's hard to get him up. So I stay with him, stay with him. I think it's just wrapped around his tail. Alright, just stay with him. That's a big, big gator. Here he comes. See that? Come on, snare man. Get ready. There he is. Okay, watch that rope. That is a big, big gator. We gotta get another snare on his head, Joel. Gotta get another snare on his head. Get him in between his mouth. Just like that. Now look. Let it go. Get it tight. Yep. All right, watch out. You gotta cut this line. Do not forget we've got a hook in this gator. Folks, if we can make it to the bank with this trolling motor, and probably a 300 pound gator, we have got an alligator on the private land gator hunt. They just sit there and twist and turn, twist and turn. They will make a a tangled mess of his rope. Uh, mess of we got two snares on him, one around his body, one around his head. We're in good shape and just make it to the bank. This is another gator. This that isn't other, the big gator no, that we that's saw. that's not the big one that we saw over there. This is not the biggest gator that we saw. I mean, he's a, this is a huge gator, but he's not the big one that we saw. And I mean, I guarantee you when he was on the end of that rod and reel, he was all you wanted right then. Come on, up there, boy. Big gator. Big gator. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold him as tight as I can this way. Joey's actually gonna come in behind him. We're gonna get this treble hook out. We're gonna tie his legs up to ensure that he, he's not moving, can't walk. I've got him tight. Joey, you've got a lot of trust in me, don't you? That's right. <laughs> Main thing, we're gonna get his mouth taped and shut, and then we'll do some measurements. You got it tight? Yep. All right. Come back, son. Come back. You can't never use enough tape. Gorilla tape. Straighten his tail out a little bit, Joel. There you go. Eight foot nine inches. We've decided to uh, release this gator, not actually go ahead and harvest it. Hey, maybe yeah, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll get another one. If I don't, hey, still had a good time. That's what it's all about. Hang on, go. Let him go. That gator's free. Let him go. Hey. hey, that's all the time we have for this week. Hope you enjoyed the show. Join us again next time for more exciting adventures. Until then, I'm Amanda Mills. And I'm Randy Newell. See you outdoors.